Oh yeah, hey everybody, Trey Hardy here. Got another vlog for you. Today we are at the North Georgia Zoo in Cleveland, Georgia. Yeah, I got a nice little creek here. I'm going right under me. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it. We got some alpacas and other unknown wildlife I've never seen before. So uh, let's go inside and give it a tour. Okay, since we're outside the zoo, might as well start here. Got this nice little bridge. Got the alpacas over there. Let me zoom in. But we got some sheep. Yeah, I'm staying outside because I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm pretty sure they're not allowed in because of the animals. I know there's some chickens out here. Here you got some chickens. Oh. Uh, those are turkey, I believe. I might be wrong. I know there's some ducks over there. Are those quails? I oh, don't know. Uh, let's see what's in here. A lone sheep. Okay, I won't get too close to you. Uh, look at those sheep. It's about time they get a trim. But all right, I'm gonna head in and continue this adventure. All right, so we got a billy goat wanting to be fed. So, let's give him some food. Anything with a mouth can bite. There you go, buddy. For your safety, please only hand feed goats, sheep, and cows. Probably want some more. Oh, we're going to get you some more, buddy. Look at all this over here, though. Somebody spilled something. They're all coming now. Look at all the little baby chickens like we didn't see those all over the place. Look at young. Y'all gotta eat them from there. You gotta eat them from there. <clears throat> they want to take it out of your hand. They don't want to... Okay, look at that. <laughs> Here, I'll hold the bucket. Okay, there's other people that want to eat. Everybody gets that one wants to eat. That one's small. This little white one didn't get any. Oh, there's another ball. It's a whole bucket. Okay. All right, all right. You get it all, aren't you? The black one wants some. Look at your eyes. All right, buddy. I think there's a limit to how much we're supposed to feed y'all. There's El Paso. And there's one right there wanting some. Hey, buddy. Look at him up there, the little baby. There, I give some to your, your companion right there. All right, we got one coming up again. Two coming up. There. Oh, All right, let's give some to your friend. All right, there you go. The alpacas are not coming out. Guess you got to walk over there.
We got the goat right here. Hey buddy, you want some? Right here, some. Uh, all we won't remember is feeding the goats. All right, let's give him the little one over here, some. Just throw it, don't find it. Remember it. This is like, oh, he wants some back there, Trey. Yeah, he wouldn't come to me. What, are you stealing food? <coughs> Here, now he's coming to you. All right, buddy. I'm going to eat one. Okay. Uh. All righty. Let's go on with the rest of the tour. Oh, look at the mini pig. I don't see no mini pig. Those are sheep. They're in there. I'm looking right at them. The baby? Oh, the little babies. The mama's not a big mini. All right, let's get you off here. Oh, you're hurting my hand. Wait. <laughs> He's aggressively wanting that. Wait, you're hurting yourself. Look at the little baby kid. I think y'all had some. Okay, he just putting his mouth in it. You're just putting your mouth all in it. And you don't want it once it hits the ground. Yeah, the pig will eat it. Okay, you guys have eaten half of it already. Already. All right, let's move on to another section. Right. Okay, let me go get the uh, food bucket. Nice little boat. The pigs are wanting fed. 
Oh, you're giving it to me? There's parakeets in there. But they're right by that fence waiting. I'll keep recording. And there's one piggy over there. A chicken. Uh, I got some water on my lens and didn't know it. There's tortoises over here. Emu. They got emus. Like fruit and stuff. No, they probably bite you. <laughs> I think they bite. <laughs> smelling it? Yeah, I don't think he wants it. But the emus. A baby goat. There is a bear back there. You saw a bear? Oh, that's a sloth. That like a sloth? No, that's not a sloth. Oh no, that's one of those little. Look. A deer. Hey, baby girl. Looks like it might be pregnant. Are you pregnant? Is that a deer? Pretty. Yeah, she looks pregnant. Look at the little baby thing. I'm looking. Here, let's get you some food, little guy. Oh, oh God. They're all eating up all their food. Don't hurt your neck. <clears throat> I was trying to feed you before you walk off. That's a little baby. Oh, he's got blue eyes. He's got beautiful eyes. Oh, these are the babies over here. I'm going to put it through the fence, okay? Here comes another little baby. Oh, how sweet. Oh, just come right on out. 
Yeah, what this is, I don't know. It looks like a deer. It also looks like something from Africa. Could be an antelope. Okay, you think we should save some of it for the Do a flip. Do a flip right now. And I will get you a whole thing of food just for yourself. Is he gonna jump? You're gonna jump? Do a flip and I'll get you a whole thing. Oops, oops, oops. No, he didn't do a flip. We'll he still feed you some. He's got the food. He's the bad guy. All right, here you go. All right. We got a kookaburra. He's up there. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Oh, I'm probably going this side. Just chilling. All right. Hi, baby. I see blue. I see yellow. Oh, the baby. Hey, up there. You want to come on me? I'm going to go to the Hi, baby. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. He wants to be fed. Yeah. Somebody's got to come and go get it. Oh, look at the one with his head. Look out. I think that there's babies in there. You think it's baby? Yeah. Trying to step on that one. I don't think I can fly. Flightless birds. There's a pigeon. Oh, that's doves. Okay, everybody. I'm taking a little break right now. We're about to start a little tour. They got like, you know, kangaroos and wolves and shit. So, on a little smoke break because, you know, can't smoke around animals. That's just common knowledge. But, uh, yeah, let's look at the outside. You know, we're in the mountains here in uh, Helen, Georgia. Not too far from uh, Hayesville where I, well, it's Shooting Creek, but the mailing address says Hayesville. Hayesville's the next city over. But basically, not too far from where I live at. Well, look at this, yeah, we're in the mountains. Yeah, if you're just following the video, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, let me know in the comment sections what type of uh, content you wanna see because, you know, besides vlogs, I do skits. Sometimes they can be a bit controversial, but people love them, so I do them. But uh, I'm not just a skit person. I like doing vlogs and I also do gaming. So I'll put the game pages in the uh, comment section below if you want to see some gaming. Yeah, just let me know in the comments uh, what do you want to see. More vlogs, taste tests, let me know. But right now, it's almost time for the tour to start. So I'm going to be heading back in. I think I clean my lens off a little bit. Well, so far I'm enjoying it. This is the largest rodent in Africa. A rodent is an animal wow. whose had two teeth grow continuously throughout their entire lives. These guys are also the largest species of porcupine. Um, so their quills get over a foot long. They actually can protect themselves from all sorts of top predators, even lions. These guys do not shoot their quills. That is a, a myth, um, probably from the ones that live here in the United States because they are arboreal. Um, and their quills will fall on people, so people thought they were getting shot at. Um, but in reality, these guys just have quills made of keratin, like our hair, so they shed their quills. Yeah, what is, what is that? A porcupine. That's a porcupine. Um, so to protect themselves, since they don't shoot their quills, they splay them up really big and wide, and they rattle their tail, and then they will back into whatever is trying to predate on them and then go back into their body and it keeps them from overheating. Well, he's in there, knocked out. They also are insectivores, so one fox is known to eat over a million termites per year. 
the green of that box? Yeah. That you see the very interesting smell, so if you see this in Richmond Island, some of them are twos. Um, they will actually kind of like gather smells off of things and with their clobber and then stuff it into the hairs of their tail to carry it to sleep. Native to Central and South America. They have ankles that rotate 180 degrees so they can climb up a tree, flip around and crawl right back down head first without getting stuck. And they also are super intelligent. Um, they have been said to be able to pickpocket people. Um, and they have a natural inclination for it because if you go in there with them, your phone disappears. Look at here. Javelino. So on the left here we have Marie and Diego. They are our javelinas or colored peccaries. Javelina means javelin or sword. And if you can see him lifting his nose in the air, you can see the tips of his tusks. That one's not um, out. They're about the length of a finger and very sharp. Now, though they do have long, sharp teeth, they eat mostly um, like grasses and tubers and other vegetables. Look at the Alrighty guys, so these are our macropods. Macropod means large foot. They're also marsupials, so they have a pouch for their babies. This lady right here is one of our red kangaroos, which is the largest species of kangaroo. And then the two in the back on the fence line there are our swamp wallabies. Swamp wallabies are one of the only macropods that have webbing in their feet. Um, so they actually have a different number of chromosomes than all of our other wallabies do. So the strongest part of their bodies are their tails, so they will actually use their tail as a fifth leg to help them shuffle short distances. Are you not done? I'm sorry. Um, and males will also kickbox, so they will raise their entire body up onto their tail and kick with the back feet towards the chest of a rival male. We offer both puppy and cat, but it's not just like a petting farm. This is just because you have to have a little I'm not supposed to be recording, but I'm getting these wolves. Uh oh. I definitely not want to see one of these in the wild. The ones, Mac, now, oh, I'm trying to get to stand still so I get a pit. They're not gonna stand still. <laughs> this is Meg with the twin. Her mouth moves. Uh. Stand still so I can get your pick. Got it. related to guinea pigs. Um, they are actually nicknamed nature furniture because they are very friendly um, to the point that they will let other animals ride them around in the wild. Okay, I should be good with the uh, recording video again. Yeah, sorry about that. They told me no video, but uh, I think it was just for that one part we were in. Some pictures I couldn't get because the uh, habitats are too dark and they said no flash on the camera, so. <laughs> No. I have no idea. But yeah, we're gonna get on with the show now. I don't know if this one's somebody's pet or if he just got out, but he's chilling. Earlier we gave half our bucket away because we fed everything so much, and we had a bucket and we had two bags. <laughs> Let's look at this creek. Look at that beautiful water. Got some ducks over there. Are you 
Alrighty, let's get wolf puppies. <coughs> yeah, right. Hey, buddies. You know, it's crazy. At 30 years old, I've never seen a wolf in person before until today. I've seen wolf hybrids, like people's pets, but not an actual pure blood wolf. Here we got some more rabbits. Stinks nice and good. Hopping down the old buddy trail. Look at this dude just sitting here chilling like he owned the place. Hey, baby. I think it's a Bengal. No, he's still alive. He's just laying like that. Hey, baby. Are you playing possum? Yeah, yeah, you. Awesome. Oh, look. Is he supposed to be out? It might be someone's pit. I don't know. Are you supposed to be out here? You're supposed to be out? You can get hit by somebody on the road. Yeah, he's just eating everything. <laughs> Alrighty, this is Trey Hardy. Finishing up the North Georgia Zoo vlog in Cleveland, Georgia. As you can see across the street. They got the drive through safari park. That's how I ported this vlog, but uh, next time we get them. Thanks for uh, tune, tuning in, watching this journey. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Uh, see y'all next time on some more epic adventures. Trey Hardy out.